What is happening, Ray Carnes Rec Tech Grills? You guys have been asking for a long time for a brisket cook. So I did one for you guys. I put it on last night. Frankie wasn't here. We rubbed it down with our brisket rub, of course. And we put it on at 11 o'clock last night. And it's been going for about 12 hours. It just hit an internal of 200 degrees. So we're about to take it off, cut the point off. And uh, right now we're going to make the injection or the au jus. Now, generally speaking, I would sometimes I inject this pre prior to cooking. Um, last night we didn't do that so we're going to make the injection now what we're going to do is it's four cups of water so uh that's two this stuff is delicious i mean you can um i like having the au jus with a brisket uh when you slice it i like to put it in there let it soak some of this uh au jus up so at least four cups of water you're going to put uh three tablespoons of beef base so i got a tablespoon here uh-oh I'm gonna have to find some more beef base. So you're gonna put, I got some more in the pantry. I'll get that in a second. So you're gonna put three tablespoons of beef base. This one was almost empty. I'll get some more out in a minute. That was just one and a half. So uh, we'll get that beef base out in a second. You're gonna put one pack of au jus gravy. You can find this right in the uh, gravy packet section. Um, they're about 90 cents, I think, 99 cents. And we're going to put three tablespoons of Worcestershire. One, two, and three. I'm going to put that other beef base in here. I'm going to heat this up to dissolve the ingredients. And then we're going to get that brisket off. We'll see you at the Rec Tech. So we cooked this with our Ultimate Blend Pellets. It's been going about 12 hours. And uh, we're going to actually, I know I said we're going to cut the point off. This is a small packer. I'm actually just going to leave this one whole. We're going to slice it just like this. We're not going to cut the point off this time. So uh, that was 12 hours. We got an internal of 200 degrees. She's looking pretty. So we got this au jus. What we're going to do is pour it in, and we're going to let this guy rest for two hours, at least two hours. And how we do that, we're going to put it in the pan, put the au jus in there, cover it in foil, and then we're going to wrap this in a beach towel. Honey, if you bring me a beach towel here. Let me wipe this up first. <laughs> want to put it in the beach towel, not a cooler. You don't want to make a cooler, you're making an oven essentially. You want it to start to be able to cool down a little bit. We're going to let this rest for two hours, let it soak up some of that au jus. Here we go. So she's been resting two hours. We're going to slice against the grain. And then we're going to put it back in au jus for a bit. Still nice and hot. Look at this right here. Money. All right, to show you the stretch test, you're supposed to be able to stretch this, it stretches and then breaks. See it? Pretty much perfect. Man, the smokiness in this. Mm. Dip it in this au jus. It's amazing. I actually take this whole brisket, put it in the au jus, let it sit in there for about 10 more minutes. It soaks some of it up. It's amazing. This bark is amazing. And check out this smoke ring. Frankie, can you get on that? Awesome. Guys, you got to visit RecTechGrills.com. Thanks for cooking with me today, man. Mm.